Genshin Impact, Best Event Cards for the Genius Invocation TCG Genshin Impact has added a whole new TCG into the mix, which has already got its fans working on the best strategies. The best decks for Genius Invocation need a good range of character cards, support cards, and of course event cards. If you're trying to get your deck battle ready then we have some tips for you. Here are the best event cards in Genshin Impact's Genius Invocation. Genshin Impact TCG, Best Event Cards in Genius Invocation Event cards are important to the Genius Invocation TCG as they can perform actions both immediately and affect your characters on their next move. A total of 30 cards should make up your deck alongside your three character cards, and a good chunk of this should be dedicated to event cards. These should be used situationally, but you'll need them at hand when that situation arises. Strategize Strategize costs one die and lets you pull two cards from your deck into your hand. Almost every TCG has these cards, and they are invaluable for giving yourself some options in terms of your next move. You can also sacrifice cards to change dice to your character's element, which can help a lot when choosing moves. At least one of these should be present in any deck. Leave it to me. Genius Invocation is a lot about preparing and executing elemental reactions which you can do by switching your active character. This usually costs you a die and ends your turn, giving your opponent a chance to react. Leave it to me. Allows you to perform a character switch at no cost, and without ending your turn. This is probably the most important event card you can have in your deck. When the crane returned. This card costs you one elemental die but gives you an automatic switch after your active character performs their next move. This can help you trigger abilities that become active when you switch. It can also help you protect your active character, or prepare better for your next turn, which can come in handy. Changing Shifts This is the third card that switches your active character. This one is free to use, and makes the cost of switching also free. Sometimes you will need a large number of dice available to you in order to pull off a combo, so this one can be vital in a number of strategies. Quick Knit If your team uses a lot of summons then Quick Knit is essential. For just one die, you can extend some temporary effects. You can extend the burning effect of Pyrodendro reactions, or Kali's Puppet can last an extra turn. This can bring in new reactions and put more damage on the table. The best is Travel Companion. This card has a high cost of 2 elemental dice, but gives you 2 more useful Omni dice in return. Using this is especially good if you have failed to roll the elements you need. It will get you out of a tight space and is definitely one to have in your deck. Toss Up Toss Up is another card based on re-rolling your luck, as it will let you roll a selection of dice again, up to 2 times. As it's free of charge, you're not wasting anything to try your luck, but it doesn't always guarantee a successful result. Star Signs Star Signs is a card designed to help you manage your character's energy. For two dice it will allow you to replenish one energy point on your current character. While it's not cheap it's worth it to complete a planned combo, or pull of a powerful special ability. Calx's Arts this is another card that boosts your character's energy, and it's cheaper than star signs. The downside is that it will use another character's energy and give it to your current character. It's a very situational card that can be powerful if used at the right moment. Elemental Resonance Each element in the game has an Elemental Resonance card and they each have their own effects. All of them are very useful, but you will need the right team composition in order to active them. Make sure you have two characters on your team of the same element, and the right elemental resonance to pull off this one. 